Rachel, what do we know? Why was this review taking place to begin with? We actually at this moment don't know all that much. We we know, as uh, as you were just talking about, that he was removed. It doesn't sound like it was voluntary. Um, there was a statement, and apologies if you if you already went into that, and I, and I just didn't hear that bit, but um, they say his departure follows a deliberative review process, as you mentioned, which concluded he wasn't consistently candid in his communications with the board, um, hindering its ability to exercise its responsibilities. Um, so, I mean, they clearly, ha and as they say, they have lost confidence in his ability to continue leading the company, yeah. um, which I, I think we're going to probably find out a little more, and we we're obviously looking into figuring out what exactly yeah. led to this. Well, I'm um, sure, so well, I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure everyone right now is calling the company trying to figure out what the heck is going on. But I'm wondering if you, maybe you can shed a little bit of light here on some of the moves that the company has made as of late. We know that they were in talks to raise a new, uh, with a new funding round that would give this company just an eye-popping valuation of uh, some more than uh, $80 billion here. Do we have any sense as to whether his removal, uh, as well as uh, effectively the chairman of the board uh, stepping down from that particular position, are, is going to have a material impact on that fundraising round? One one could guess that it would. I mean, that's these are both very big deals, right? Especially Sam Altman, who has really been the leader of the company through an extremely pivotal time for it. Um, I mean, ChatGPT came out uh, almost exactly a year ago at this point, in like another week or week and a half. That's going to be a year from now. And as we all know, that itself has really changed the AI and uh, industry and technology industry at large. So. Him, uh, Sam leaving and Greg stepping down but remaining in that position, we should keep in mind Greg was a co-founder of OpenAI. Um, Sam has, has, was not a co-founder, but he has been there, um, I, I think, this entire time. It, these are really, really big shifts for a company that uh, has had a pretty stable leadership for quite a while. Yeah, monumental moves here. And, of course, with Sam Altman departing OpenAI, Chief Technology Officer Myra Maradi, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, will be the interim Chief Executive Officer. Rachel, what do we know about uh, that role, the, C the CTO? Uh, Mira Maradi has been at the company for quite a while now. She is well-known and respected in AI, in the technology industry at large. Um, she has been already leading several of the key teams at OpenAI. And I would say that over the last, like, six months or so, the company has certainly been positioning her as more of a public face of the company. She's been more of a public leader, um, doing things like attending events, with Sam um, at the Wall Street Journal's uh, Tech Live event about a month or two ago. She was on stage in conversation with him. Um, things like that, uh, making it seem like she was certainly one of the top, top leaders of the company. And you think about open AI, you zoom out, you think about how important this company is to the AI landscape. I mean, the company said in November, what, 100 million people use chat GBT each week, more than 90% of Fortune 500 businesses building tools on the platform. Talk to us about uh, the potential ripple effects here if we do see a hiccup at open AI. Yeah, no, that's a really that's a really good point. I mean, I think you have a lot of companies that are increasingly depending on this company, a lot of companies that are experimenting with and increasingly relying on this company. Um, that could have big, it could have a big impact on how they feel about this company if this kind of leadership change is made. Uh, 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 sorry, because this kind of leadership change was made and mm -hmm. the way in which it was made, which is you know it's Friday afternoon right before a yeah. holiday, you know, like that doesn't it, it sounds pretty bad.